Welcome to this video on using the maintenance mode in Ranarec Studio. This video provides a short introduction on how to use the maintenance mode to fix failing test runs. Let's get started with a short example where a test run has failed due to changes in user interface elements of the application under test. Activate the maintenance mode by enabling the corresponding switch in the test suite view. Then Start the test run. The test run stops because of an element not found error. The state of the system under test is preserved as of the moment the error occurred. No teardown or other cleanup actions are performed. You can open the progress report to analyze the steps executed prior to the failure. This can help to understand what went wrong during the test execution. For example, a button click opening a dialog did not work. In this specific case, only the control name attribute used to identify the title edit field has changed. Click the edit button to open Ranarex Spy. Update the corrupted Ranarex path by tracking the desired UI element, and then apply your changes. The failed test step will be repeated with the updated Ranarex path, and the test run will resume from the point after the failed test action. As you can see, the test run now stops because of a failed validation. Open Ranarex Spy to get the actual value used for the validation. Just update the value of the validation. Let's have a look at the generated report file. Here we have the element not found error, followed by an error resolve message showing the updated Ranarex path. If you want to keep the changes made during test execution, simply move over the message and choose Apply Path Changes, then apply the changes in Ranarex Spy. You can do the same with the failed validation step. The errors are fixed for future test executions. Thank you for watching this short video on how to use the maintenance mode to fix failing test runs. For more information about the maintenance mode, have a look at the corresponding user guide section on our website. You can find the link in the video description.